Hello friends, welcome to SourceCAD tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll model this mechanical model here. And after going through this model, you'll be able to use press pull tool more effectively than ever before. Okay, so let's just start this mechanical modeling. Okay, but before starting this mechanical modeling, I want you to, to switch your workspace to 3D workspace, 3D modeling. So for that, click on this gear icon here and change it to 3d modeling alternatively you can change it to 3d modeling from here also go to 3d modeling if you are not on 3d modeling workspace okay now i want you to visualize this solid as if you are watching from the top so if you'll watch it from the top what you are going to observe these two concentric circles and this one so you won't find this geometry so let's make the top view first so for making the top view go to circle click on the anywhere on the screen and make a circle with a diameter of 1.38 units this is 1.38 units okay dia for d for dia and 1.38 units okay here it is okay now select it again click on the center and this time the diameter is 2.50 so select diameter and 2.50 enter so here it is we are done with this now we'll make this geometry so as you can see that it is 2.63 units from the center line so we need to make a center line first so let's make the center line okay and the center line as well so from here you I have used this construction line feature to make the center line. You need to remember that on O snap, on this O snap, intersection is on. Otherwise you won't find this point. So now click on this point and drag it to a length of 2.63 units. 2.63 units. Now drag it on this direction again and enter a length of 1.25 again. Okay. Now take it down to a distance of 2.50 units. Why 2.50? Because the diameter of the circle is 2.50. That is why. So 2.50 enter. And now join it with this point. Okay. We're done. Now let's select circle. Click on this point and make your circle like this okay up to this point we are going good and I want you to trim all the extra lines which are not required for example this construction line seems unused and uh, let's go to this trim command and remove this line as well now I'll make this shape which is present here so for making this shape I want you to go to rectangle tool select rectangle and make a rectangle anywhere inside this drawing unit you, you don't need to be precise here at this point of time so select at the rate enter a length of 1.25 units comma a width of a width that is equivalent to the diameter of this circle and as you can see the diameter of the circle is one units so a width of one unit press enter okay now move this rectangle from the cent center point to this center point and now let's make the circles on these two centers okay now all we need to do is trim all the additional lines which are no longer required like this construction line select trim and trim all these lines okay so these two lines are also not required so uh, just select erase and erase this this uh, you need to join these three lines as well so go to modify join select this complete geometry and press enter similarly go to join select these three lines and this also and press enter okay now let's go to 3d view now see the height what's the height of the cylinder it's four units here so I'll go to press pull tool 
select this area that is enclosed in between these two circles and I'll press pull it downwards since the z-axis is positive upwards so I'll make it negative so I'll press pull it downwards to a distance of two units so I'll enter minus two and enter so again I'll repeat the process but this time I'll press pull it upwards to a distance of two units and we are done with this okay similarly I suggest you to just change it to hidden view to make it more clear now in the similar way I'll press pull this geometry also now since you can see that the height of this geometry is 0.75 so we need to press pull it upwards and downwards to a distance of 0.375 so first we'll press pull it downwards so click this area and enter a value of minus 0.375 and enter similarly again press pull upwards to 0.375 but this time with positive value and we are done change it to shaded and you can turn off this grid also thank you for watching